evening! Today, I'm reacting to Abbott and Costello at their best. I'm excited to see that these guys are absolutely awesome. I'd also absolutely love it if you guys could help out the channel by liking and subscribing. That would be beautiful. It would mean a lot. Now, let's get into this thing. Station for Ted Higgins and party. Oh, yes, sir. The best table. Well. It's already this way, please. Mm hmm. So I, I believe these guys were around in like the 40s or something, right? Sit down. Here you are, gentlemen. Thank you. For how long? Does anyone mm. know? Serve the food. But your guests haven't arrived. Well, they'll be a little late. I'm sorry, I'm afraid the food will be cold. That's all right. When it gets cold, bring it back in the kitchen. Bring out some warm food. Just put it on the bill. That's all. That's all. Very well, sir. It's a waste of food, man. Thank you. You surely picked out a nice place to run up a big bill. High class, eh? Oh, very. Wonderful, boy. Well, eat up. Eat plenty. It's our last meal. Okay. This is really a gorgeous place. Wonderful. Look at that wall over there. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a beautiful wall? Beautiful. You know what that wall reminds me of? What? This one over here. Oh, stop. <laughs> walls are walls. <laughs> Suppose you walked over there and you bored a hole in that wall. Okay, I walk over there and I bore a hole in the wall. Why? Why should you go over there and bore a hole in that wall? I'm not boring a hole in the wall. Why should you go over there and bore a hole in that wall? Look, Ted, you said to me, suppose you walk over there and bore a hole in the wall. But I was dopey enough to say I'll go and bore a hole in the wall, but you're not gonna put that blame on me. That makes no difference. I don't go around boring holes in walls and restaurants. That's what I want to know. If I want to get out of here, I don't have to get out to a hole in the wall. Uh, you see that? They got eggs out here if I want to go. Mm-hmm. The out. What makes you so dumb? Oh, it just comes to me naturally. Sure. Suppose you walk into a baseball field. All right, what teams are playing? I don't know. Then what are you doing in that baseball field? I don't know. You got me you in there and I'll get me out. Look, what is the first thing you buy in a baseball field? A hot dog. A hot dog. Without mustard? Mm -mm. What? Mustard goes with a hot dog. Not with mine. Mustard was made for the hot dog. Now, but I, look, I don't like mustard. Mustard and the hot dog go together. Let them go together. I don't want to spoil any romance. Do you, do you know they spend millions of dollars every year to put up factories just to manufacture mustard? Do you know those factories employ thousands and thousands of men just to manufacture mustard? Do you know those men take care of thousands of families and homes all on account of mustard? And you, just because you don't like mustard, what do you want them to do? Close those factories down and put all those people out of work? Oh, hmm. shit. You mean to sit there it's got a and point. just because I don't eat mustard, I'm going to close down the mustard factory? No, wait a minute. No, no. Can I just do a quick, like, roll call here? Who puts mustard with ketchup on their hot dog? If I see any mustard blasphemy in the comments below, I ain't going to be happy. No, no, are you no. trying to tell me that those thousands of people are making one little jar of mustard like this no. just for me? No, wait, but you don't understand. Well, if the eye, you can tell them not to make any more because I'm not going to eat it. All right, yeah. so you don't like it. I like Worcestershire shear shorts. You like what? Worcestershire shear shorts. <laughs> Worcestershire shear shorts. You can't even share it. But I don't, but don't go for mustard. You don't like mustard, mustard, huh? I don't like it. No, I like Worcestershire shear shorts. You don't know why you dislike it. Look, I'm not Bro, gonna put oh, oh, Wait, wait. Worcestershire, Worcestershire shear shorts. Sure. Worcestershire shear. Sure. Fuck that sauce, whatever it is. I told you before, I don't put nobody out of work. All Mr. right, Shishir. forget about it. Okay. Sit here like a big dummy. I don't know. I don't know why I hang around with you. You can't answer a question. You, I, I, you, you said that I was putting thousands of people out That's of work. That's what you're doing. I'm not putting anybody out of work. Men walking the streets, husbands walking the streets, doing nothing. I'm not putting any husbands out of work. You don't even know what a husband is. A husband is what's left of a sweetheart after the nerve has been killed. Right, listen, no <laughs> remarks out of you. I ask you simple little questions and you say nothing at all. Why don't you ask me a little easy question? Will you answer it? A tiny one. So, suppose you had $5 in one pants pocket and $10 in the other pants pocket. What would you have? Somebody else's pants on. The, yeah, you see, you want to answer I ain't the got question. No money. What are you asking me those kind I'm of things? I'm not asking you well, that. Don't yell at me. Tell me are you paying for the food? Look here. Say you're 40 years old. Not, wait, Who's just 40? a minute. Who's 40? Just say, pretend I'm you're 40. I'm a boy. All right. Pretend I'm you're. I'm a boy. All right, wait a minute. Look, pretend I'm you're not 40. Pretend you're 40 years old. And you're in love with a little girl, say, 10 years old. This one's gonna be a pip. Well, now, wait a minute till I finish it. Now, I'm going around with a ten-year-old girl. Well, wait a minute. You now, got you... a good idea where I'm gonna wind up. Will you wait a minute, please? <laughs> now, you're Reactive 40. Chair. She's 10. You're four times as old as that girl. Now, you couldn't marry her, could you? Not unless I come yeah. from the mountains. Uh, never mind that. I'm asking you one little simple question. You want to answer it? Well, go ahead. I... You're 40. She's 10. You're four times as old as that girl. Can't marry her, so you wait. Oh, you wait five years. I wait five years. Now, Please. you're 45. The little girl is 15. Now, you're only three times as old as that little girl, right? Huh? Mm -hmm. So you wait 15 years more. Now the little girl's 30, you're 60. Now you're only twice as old as that little girl. Uh, uh, She's catching up. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the question. What? How long do you have to wait before you and the little girl are the same age? Now, go ahead. Now, there's a very simple question. Thank mm -hmm. God. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. What's ridiculous about I mean, about? if I keep waiting for that girl, she'll pass me up. What do you mean? She'll wind up older than I am. What are you talking and about? she'll have to wait for me. Why should she wait for you? I was nice enough to wait for her. Oh, stop. 
she thinks she is anyway. If she don't want to wait for me, I don't have to marry her. Marry her? She's a nice girl. I'm wait a minute. Here. Do you know this girl? No. Then why should you marry a girl you don't even know? I asked her to ask me a simple one, didn't I? That was the idea. Well, how does that even work? Easy. How does that even work? You're going to jail fast enough. Don't get excited. Ask me a all right, simple. simple. Every time I talk to you, I ask get a headache. Ask me a question slow again. Headaches is all I get when I talk Why to you. Why don't you take aspirin? Take an aspirin. That's You're telling me to take an aspirin? Let's go for a headache. Have you a license to practice medicine? Huh? Have you a license to practice medicine? Doctors all over the world, they study, they spend their lives. They go to college to become doctors. And you tell me to take an aspirin. When one friend has a headache, another friend tells him to take an aspirin. That's all. It's a simple little thing. True. You have no business. Don't take the aspirin. I mean, it's true. Don't take Ooh. it, Danny. You don't Boy, want it. You keep your sore hands. fine, pal. Why don't you Fine. take a little bromo zilter? Never mind, I'll take what I want. Here. Say you're in the Grand Central uh, Station in New York City. Hmm. Right? Will you stop that, please? Put it down. You're in the Grand Central uh, Station. Yeah. Um, you buy a ticket. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. What are you buying a ticket for? I'm not buying a ticket. And what are you doing in the depot? Well, you are, you see? Same as the baseball game. No. Now you got me in a depot. What I am I doing it. in a depot? What are you blaming me for all these things? Well, then you know where you were going when you went in? I don't know. You put me in this station. Don't blame everything on me. <laughs> now that I'm there, I'll have to find some place to go. Find some place to go. I'll go bye-bye. Where is bye-bye? Where is bye-bye? Where is bye-bye? Oh, that way someplace. What's over there? Bye-bye. Oh, stop. Will you please talk sense? I'll go to Baltimore. I don't want to go, but I'll go. Baltimore? That'll sound Why bad. Baltimore? Why did you have to pick out Baltimore? Of all the towns in the United States, why did you have to pick out Baltimore? What's the matter with Philadelphia? I got friends in Baltimore. Suppose you had friends in Philadelphia. Then I go to Philadelphia. And what happens to your friends in Baltimore? I'm not talking to them anymore. Suppose you were married, had a wife, and your wife was in Philadelphia. Then I go to Chicago. Oh, go ahead, eat your shrimp. Go ahead, eat it. Get it over with. Don't push it into my mouth. Go ahead. After all, you ain't paying for this. I'm splitting half of this. So all right, come on. Pay. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Just a minute. Hey, we've got 15 minutes before the deadline. 15 minutes? Hey! Not that Get the waiter. Hmm? Get the check. Waiter! Waiter! He ain't got no money! Waiter! waiter. Yes, gentlemen, be patient, please. Your food is coming right away. Uh, never mind the food. We don't want the food. Just uh, the check. The check? Mm -hmm. uh, even though we ain't gonna pay for it. In that case, I better call the manager. Oh, yeah. I think so. uh, you want to see me? Uh, what well, seems to be the trouble? The gentlemen want the check. Well, give it to them. The check is $498.61, gentlemen. Oh, you forgot the tax. Oh, well, that's right. <laughs> Thank you very much. The tax. That's an additional $14.94. I have a very pertinent question to ask you. Yes? What do you do to people who can't pay the check? We put them in jail. Mm-hmm. Service for two, please. You mean that you, uh, uh... Come, come, my good man, the patrol wagon. Make sure we get a seat the last time we had to stand up. Will you uh, come with me, please? I'm delighted. Yes, sir. Hey, you're not allowed to put your hands on the customer. They are great. They are absolutely incredible. I absolutely love those two. If you guys want me to check out any other stand-up comedians from way back when, let me know in the comments box down below. Thank you for watching. Peace.